An introduction to compartmentalised gardens. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. I'm Tom Cole, Head of Horticulture at Cape Manor College, and I'm standing in the middle of our version of a compartmentalised garden. Compartmentalised gardens have their roots firmly stuck with gardens such as Hidcote Manor in Gloucestershire and Sissinghurst in South England. These are gardens that both look at gardens on a large scale but then trying to minimise them into rooms or spaces. And we've just done that here. This is an example of a, a white themed border. We've used some key structural shrubby plants like Hydrangea paniculata with wonderful creamy white flowers and clean foliage through to the tiers, the many tiers on the wedding cake tree, which has flecks of creamy white in its foliage, but actually has flowers at the beginning of the season. At the bases of plants, we've also used summer bedding in the form of cosmos, with its wonderful daisy-like flowers and bright, broad white petals. In this room, we've concentrated mainly on architectural foliage, looking at the many shapes and sizes that leaves come in, through to their texture and their overall form as a plant. There's no bedding in here at all. This is all about permanent plants and in the main, all of them are evergreen. We've got some great favourites in here, such as the Fatsia japonica, the false castor oil plant, with its sort of palm-like foliage, lovely glossy leaves, and really quite striking in a garden like this. At its base, and also located in other areas of this room, we've also got Formium, uh, part of the New Zealand flax group, large strap-like leaves which sometimes when a plant matures they'll also produce flowers. We've also got in here the use of ivies to coat the ground, we've also got bears britches uh, to give us a little bit more colour and a bit more texture and to give height to a border such as this we've used cordline, cordline australis. This is a great plant for creating texture not just on its leaves but also on its bark, it has a very rough texture. Its leaves are strap-like and radiate from one point and at some points in the year it will also flower. So this is a great garden for foliage, uh, for giving you something that's permanent and something you can actually enjoy at 12 months of the year. This is a garden that concentrates mainly on gold, yellow and creams in either the foliage or the flower. Some of the key plants here are plants such as the one behind me which is Eliagnus and it's a form called Gilt Edge. The yellowing or the golden colour is actually on the edge of the leaf with the greener, darker colour within. So this is a real shrubby garden with very few areas given over to sort of shorter term herbaceous perennials. 